Hi, my name is Amar. In this series, I am going to discuss how to create a multi-vendor e-commerce app with the help of Flutter and GetX. I will create the API with the help of Laravel and the database I will use is MySQL. Correct. Now this series is going to contain a huge number of videos. In this particular video, I will discuss about the project structure of the Flutter app which I have created. Let me open the VS code. Here I have already created the project. Inside this project, the first folder is images. Now this will contain all the images which will be required by the app. Correct. Now inside the lib, we have app folder. Inside the app, I have created a folder named as score. Now this core folder contains a subfolder named as theme. This theme folder will contain the theme setting of our app. Now inside the utils folder which is also inside core, inside the utils folder I will create different files. These files will contain classes and methods which will be required throughout the app. Correct. Now after that we have another subfolder inside core which is values. This values folder contains app color and app string. This app color will contain all the colors which will be required by the app and the app string will contain all the messages. Correct. This is all about the core. Now inside the app folder, there is another subfolder which is data. Inside the data folder, I have created a subfolder model. This model folder will contain all the models which will be required by the app. Now let me tell you that here I will use the DIO package to connect with the server. Correct. Now inside the provider, you can see here I have created a file named as myapiprovider.dart. Actually, this file will contain the class and this class will contain the methods which will connect with the API and the different kinds of exceptions which may generate that I have mentioned inside this DIO exception.dart file. I will discuss more about this when I will come to this particular section. Correct. After that, I have created a subfolder named as a repository. This repository actually here I will create a different different repositories like for cart I will create a cart repository for uh, wishlist I will create a wishlist repository and so on these repositories will contain functions which will actually call the my API provider to connect with the uh, APIs right after that we have modules folder you can see inside this modules folder we will have different different modules like cart module, wishlist module, product module, all the modules I will create inside the modules folder. Correct. After that we have routes. These routes have app pages and app routes. This app route will contain all the routes of the app and the app pages will contain the corresponding views or pages which will be called for the routes which we have mentioned in the app routes folder. Right. Now in this particular uh, let me uh, minimize this lib. Now here you can see here I have created a Lottie folder. Actually here I will use some Lottie animations also. So all the Lottie animations I will create inside or I will keep inside the Lottie folder. And the SVG images which will be required that I will keep inside the SVG folder. If I go to pubspec.yml file, then you can see here that this images folder, Lottie folder and SVG folder I have written inside the pubspec.yml file. And you can see here I have used different different plugins. This why I will discuss more about this as I will proceed in the series. Correct. Now here inside the leaf folder inside app you can see we have another folder global widgets this global widgets folder will contain all the common widgets which will be required by the app okay see you guys in the next video i hope you have liked my video if you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching